Let's say you've got good looking girls, fast cars, more girls, celebrities, girls, fast cars, and even more girls. Then I would probably say congratulations, you have yourself a Fast and Furious movie. When you've got a cast of celebrities like Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, Ludacris, Michelle Rodriguez, and Tyrese, and with adding in such A-list actors like The Rock and Jason Strahan, how could we pass up the chance to point out some goofs? Well, we couldn't pass it up. So sit back, relax, as we drive you through Fast and Furious 7, Movie Mistakes. In this episode of Movie Mistakes, we're going to drop some Easter eggs on you that you probably didn't know about The Rock. Also, what actor producers tried to get to play Mr. Nobody? Uh, Mr. Nobody would be this guy right here. Ah, uh, here they come. They were kids. Stop fights with the toughest bastards in the yard. Our first mistake focuses on the electrical outlet behind the bed, here. If you're paying close attention, you'll notice that it's an American style outlet. But the outlets in London look like this. Movie mistake one, Fast and Furious, zero. I was the one with the step in and finish him. So as Hobbs stamps capture on the wanted poster, you'll notice that the C is right over the image. But as the camera changes angles and he turns the page, you'll notice that the capture that he stamped moves. You know, it's got its perks. Sponge bass ain't that bad. Dad. <laughs> so for mistake number three, I want you to pay close attention to what Elena says about Hobbs. His collarbone fractured his leg in two places. So if you heard like I heard, it sounded like he fractured his leg in two places, right? Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Dad? So if Dad, meaning Hobbs, fractured his leg in three places, it wouldn't be uncommon for this guy to be wearing a cast. Honey, I want to introduce you to somebody. He's a, uh... He's an old friend. Right, they took out the towel. But I guess the strange thing to me would be that now he's in a walking boot. Okay, maybe he got better. But how is it that he's able to stand up and walk on it? This guy must have a high pain threshold. Dad. Any U.S. government forces or entity has been strictly. Although he did a decent job, Kurt Russell wasn't the producer's first choice to play Mr. Nobody. Well, who was it, you might ask? Well, this might give you some idea. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. That's correct. Oscar-winning actor Denzel Washington was the producer's first choice to play Mr. Nobody. But when he turned down the role, they had to go with Kurt Russell. You motherfuckers will be playing basketball in Pelican Bay when I get finished with you. Shoe program, nigga. Imagine how intense that would have been. Fast and Furious 7 is busted on this one. Notice how the doors are open that house the machine guns, right? So check out what happens when the bus tips over. The doors close all of a sudden? How'd that happen? Here's one thing that I bet most of you didn't know. Brian O'Connor has the ability to teleport. And here's your proof. He teleports from holding that bar over to the door. How'd that happen? Sorcery. I knew there was something dubious going on here. Okay. 
So we all thought that scene where Mia whips the car around and saved Brian's life. So as Brian's laying on the ground, probably in shock that he made it out of that, you'll notice that his jacket is wide open. And yep, you guessed it, as the camera angle changes, his jacket is zipped up. You good? And to throw a good measure, it's open again. Thank you. I have a question for you. For those of you who don't know who Ronda Rousey is, I'm going to show you a clip and you tell me if you think Mia should have actually won this fight. For mistake number seven, check out Mia's backless dress. You'll notice that she's not wearing a bra. But right after she falls over the balcony onto the DJ table, you'll notice that she's now wearing a black bra. For mistake number eight, we are staying with the cat fight. So check out the cool knife holster that Mia has on her left leg. But from the earlier scene, you saw that it was on the left leg. Now it is on her right thigh. I'm fairly certain that I would have been scared to death if I was this guy trying to get out of the way of that car. Well, it appears to me that he took getting out of the way to a whole new level as he vanished altogether. In this fight scene between The Rock and Jason Strahan, there's something that most Rock fans probably noticed, but most of us didn't. There was a subtle nod to The Rock's wrestling career as he slams Jason Strahan on the table. Check it out. So for those of you who didn't know, that wrestling move right there was The Rock's own rock bottom. Yeah, I know, I know. Pretty cool, huh? It looks to me like Vin Diesel took the term rolling till the wheels fall off a little too literal. But, as consistent with movie magic, the wheels magically back on. With all due respect, Dom, you really did great work back there. All of you. All of my men are now standing by and are fully at your disposal. Check out the left hand of Mr. Nobody, played by Kurt Russell. If you're playing close attention, you'll notice that as the camera angle changes, so does the position of his hand. So what did you think of our video? What movie mistake would you like to see us do next? Be sure and drop us a line in the comment section below. And for more weekly movie mistakes and top 10s, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to check out more of our amazing videos. We at Movie Mistakes would like to dedicate this video to the memory of Paul Walker. Rest in peace.